Hello friends, welcome to Engineering Funda family. In this video, I'll explain you feedback in operational amplifier. This topic that is very essential for university examination as well as for interviews. There can be so many questions based on this topic. So I request you to see this video till last. I'll explain you each and every points with practical case studies in this video. Here I'll explain you feedback with operational amplifier. So first of all, you need to understand what is feedback. Let me define it. See, feedback is the process of feeding back the part of the output signal at the input. So you see here we have closed loop amplifier and here we have open loop amplifier. In closed loop amplifier, we provide feedback over here. So part of the output that we provide over here as a feedback at the side of input. In open loop amplifier, we don't provide feedback. In closed loop amplifier, we provide feedback. So feedback is the process of feeding back the part of output. So the part of output that we feeding back at the side of input, right? Basically, there are two types of feedback. See, in operational amplifier, we use both of those types of feedback, positive feedback and negative feedback. Let me explain you the applications first. See, positive feedback that we use it with oscillators, Smith triggers, and regenerative comparators. So positive feedbacks is having these applications like we can use it in oscillator, we use it in Smith triggers, we use it in regenerative comparators. But negative feedback that we broadly used with many systems. We can use it with many amplifiers as well as we use it in many control systems. So majority of applications that is there with negative feedback. First of all, let me explain you how positive and negative feedback that is given with operational amplifier. So you see here we provide feedback. This is positive feedback. Why this is positive feedback? The reason is this output that we provide as a feedback with positive terminal. Positive terminal means non-inverting terminal. In negative feedback, this output that we feedback over here at the input side with negative terminal means inverting terminal. Usually we use negative feedback. The reason is there are many applications and those applications are there because of so many advantages. Let me explain you those advantages of negative feedback. See, with negative feedback, we reduces the gain and we stabilizes the gain. I'll derive all these advantages even. First, let me explain you those. After that, I'll derive these advantages step by step. So with negative feedback, we reduces the gain and we stabilizes the gain. With negative feedback, we reduces the distortion. With negative feedback, we can have increased bandwidth. Because of negative feedback, we reduces the effect of temperature and supply variation. And because of negative feedback, input resistance increases and output resistance decreases. So there are so many advantages. That's why we use negative feedback. First of all, let me explain you how we can have reduced gain with negative feedback and how it stabilizes the gain. So here I'm considering one example of negative feedback where you see we have amplifier that is having gain A and we have feedback that is having gain beta. So here, what is my V out? So V out, that is my output and that output comes based on signal over here. Let us say signal over here that is V dash. So my output will be V dash into gain A. Now this V out that we provide over here as a feedback that is having factor beta. So what is my output of feedback over here? That is beta into V out, right? The reason is here input is V out. So output of this feedback that is beta into V out. So what is my V dash? See, V dash that is difference of V in and beta V out, right? So V dash is V in minus beta V out. Now here, see we have V out, that is V dash into A, right? So here what we need to do, we need to substitute 
value of v dash in this equation right so let us say let us say this is equation 1 and this is equation 2 so what we will be doing is we will be substituting equation 1 into 2 so v out that is equals to v dash that is this into a so a into v in minus beta v out so here you can say v out that is equals to a v in minus a beta v out see here we wanted to have resultant gain that is v out by v in right so here if you want v out by v in you just take this term on the other side so v out is common 1 plus a beta that is equals to a v in so based on this you can say now gain in feedback that is v out by v in that will be a divided by 1 plus a beta so now our gain that have changed to a divided by 1 plus a beta see without feedback without feedback gain is amplifiers gain that is a but with feedback now in negative feedback gain is a divided by 1 plus a beta you you should know see with operational amplifier this value of a that is very high right and now because of negative feedback now your gain is changed now that is a divided by 1 plus a b so but obviously your gain is reduced over here still i need to take some examples so that you can have better clarity so first what i'll do is i'll be considering few case studies where let us assume let us assume a is equals to 10000 and beta that is equals to 0 0.1 so what will happen here then you can say now your new gain now your new gain that is a divided by 1 plus ab so that is 10000 divided by 1 plus 10,000 into 0.1 that is 1,000. So 10,000 divided by 1,001 that is probably 9.999, right? So here you see, without feedback gain was 10,000, but with feedback gain is 9.999. Means here we are reducing gain, right? Along with that we are also stabilizing gain. Now you might be thinking like how we are stabilizing it. Let me explain you how. See here for that what I will do is I will consider second case study. Right. So in which now what I will do is I will consider A is equals to 1000 and beta is equals to 0.1. Now let us assume because of temperature effect now your gain that have changed. Now it is 1000 from 10,000. So in terms of percentage for amplifier gain have changed a lot. From 10,000 it have changed to 1000. But because of feedback now see what will happen. So because of feedback now you see gain that will not change that much. That will be now you see A that is 1000 divided by 1 plus AB. So 1 plus A that is 1000 into 0 0.1 so that is 100. So 1000 by 101. So that is 9.99, right? So you see, even gain have changed, even gain have changed from 10,000 to 1,000. But because of feedback, now your gain is stabilized one. It is not changing that much. It have changed from 9.999 to 9.99. Means you can say we are providing stabilized gain because of negative feedback. So first advantage that I have derived over here, right? Now let me explain you second advantage that is negative feedback reduces the distortion. See distortion means what? Distortion means we are distorting our output signal. What is the job of this amplifier? Job of this amplifier is to amplify input signal. So whatever input that we give over here that should get amplified over here right so here if i say my input signal is this sinusoidal signal then my output signal that should be amplified one like if i say this is one volt pick to pick if i say this is one volt 
pick to pick right then if i say gain of this amplifier that is 1000 then my output should be my output should be 1000 volt pick to pick but see with this amplifier with this amplifier you cannot achieve output that is 1000 volt pick to pick why the reason is output that is getting saturated output that is getting saturated at max by plus vcc to minus vcc so you cannot have output that is greater than plus vcc to minus vee so that will be saturated output so what will happen this signal that cannot go beyond plus vcc to minus vee right so there will be clipping of waveform means output is getting distorted right with open loop but with closed loop but with feedback see we are reducing gain see we are reducing gain and we are stabilizing it so now your gain is 10 as per a and beta as per this value so you can say if your gain is 10 overall gain of this is 10 then whatever input that we give over here let us say that is one voltage to minus one volt right so in that case plus 10 to minus 10 variation that is possible plus 10 to minus 10 variation that is possible the reason is vcc if i keep that 15 and minus ve that is minus 15 then plus 10 to minus 10 amplification that will happen right so if you observe transfer characteristic so that states what that states that your output that cannot go beyond plus v set and minus v set means saturated voltage plus v set means plus v saturation voltage that cannot be greater than plus vcc and minus v set voltage that cannot be greater than minus vee right and because of which with open loop operational amplifier there will be distortion the reason is gain is too high right so here by controlling gain with the use of feedback we can have proper amplification we can reduce distortion right so negative feedback reduces distortion so that is what the case which i have told you in advantages right see third advantage that is based on it increases bandwidth it increases bandwidth now how it increases bandwidth here by this black color you can observe this is response of operational amplifier this is response of open so if you observe this response then that response is drawn over here with respect to gain and frequency now as you know open loop gain that is very high that is aol and here negative feedback gain that is lower compared to this so that is this so here if you observe with negative feedback we are working with larger frequency range right with open loop we are working with lower frequency range so you can say we are increasing bandwidth so negative feedback that also increases bandwidth means with negative feedback open can work with large frequency range right now you might be thinking like i have not derived few another points like it reduces effect of temperature and supply variation so here itself i have told you even if gain is changing or because of supply if gain changes right then also because of feedback is provided overall gain of system that doesn't change you see so that is where you can understand like if temperature effect is there or variation of supply is there still you will be having stabilized gain that is the meaning which already we have covered over here with this practical case study and one more thing that i have told like input resistance increases and output resistance decreases due to negative feedback right so that you will get to know in future coming videos here in this video i'm not going to derive this the reason is it will it needs to have some more basic understanding so that i'm going to cover it in next coming videos right so negative feedback that is having broad range of advantages that's why we use negative feedback in many applications in many control systems 
right i hope you have understood this video still if anything that you would like to share please note it down in the comment section i'll be happy to help you thank you so much for watching this video